Autism and special needs schools are synonymous with each other in the community until last year. However, this is beginning to change and is among the highlights this April, the Global Month of Awareness for Autism. Soon, children with autism will be integrated into mainstream school. This has already been proven successful by Stepping Stones, an internationally recognized organization in Dubai that treats the and educates individuals with autism and related disorders. Khadija Sali has this report. Zachary Kenny is a smart and charming five-year-old who was diagnosed with autism at age two. He has since been in a special needs school in the U.S. and has actively engaged in various sports until his family moved to Dubai last year. He is now one of the 15 children currently enrolled at the Inclusion Educational Program by Stepping Stones at Merdiff Private School to further develop his education. I mean, he's very caring. He's a very open, honest person. I mean, he, he doesn't, I mean, what you see is what exactly what he is. I mean, he's very loving and caring. And I mean, if you would have saw him two years ago, it, you would have never recognized him from then to how he is now. I just can't wait till he can finally be able to talk again and we can understand him and it's just going to be great. Six-year-old James Robert Dunn, fondly called Jamie, was also diagnosed with autism at age two. He attended a mainstream school during kindergarten, but was challenged when it was about time to move on to the next level. He too is now with Stepping Stones and is showing progress. We, we heard that Stepping Stones had started their own school here in Murdiff, and uh, we, we, enrolled him, we enrolled him here in January, and the... the the, uh, the progress he's made is incredible. It really is incredible. His behavior has, has, has stopped, you know. It, well, not stopped, but it's, it's slowed down. It's, it's got a lot better. Um, and, and when I say a lot better, what I mean is things like, you know, now we can go out in a restaurant with him and, and, and stuff like that, whereas before we couldn't because he'd, he'd, he'd just play havoc with, with everything. Originally from the U.S., Stepping Stones opened in Dubai in 2006. In addition to the various services they offer to over a thousand children across the region, they introduced a specialized classroom setting in a private school in March 2011. These children receive speech therapy and occupational therapy in groups throughout the week um, in multiple sessions, but totaling about an hour and a half each uh, of time spent. And we also have these children going into the mainstream settings for certain academic or non-core academic courses um, where they're participating with their peers along with one of our staff to aid them. And then the rest of the time is really spent following a structured uh, schedule every day to work on the areas that they would need to uh, acquire as far as skills go within the academic setting and supporting their developmental needs as well. The social integration of children and people with special needs in the UAE is strongly supported by the government, the private sector, as well as various organizations. Though it wasn't until recently that inroads were made in their integration into the regular education system. My school will become the channel, the, the venue where we can train at least the Merdiv private school children to accept these children and to learn to cooperate with them, to play with them, to talk to them, to take part in their activities. This year, the program has now been fully adopted into Merdiv private school system and Stepping Stones established a second class to cater to a wider age group. What we also did enhanced more is we chose a few uh, students from each class and we had the peer buddy where the students used to go from during their non-academic periods to the stepping stones and they used to help the students around read stories, help them in their work if they have. Zachary and Jamie are among the many children with autism who are defying the odds. Just like other kids their age, they are now learning to articulate their thoughts, communicate their feelings, and celebrate their achievements. It is hoped that through this program, more children will benefit and advance psychologically, socially, and academically to become successful independent learners. Khadija Sali, 7 National News.